the best three solo drop spots in chapter 5 season 4 for ranked in tournaments that have a ton of loot and guaranteed good placement. In today's video, I'm going over my top three favorite drop spots in this season. These are places that I have personally landed at and that have given me good results. In this video, I'm mainly just going to be talking about solo drops, but if you guys want to see duo drop spots or trio drop spots, check my channel. If you guys like this type of content and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Alright guys, so the first place we're going to be looking at today is Nitro Drum. So because this spot is, you know, towards the center of the map, a lot of people think that it's going to be, like, insanely contested. But honestly, in my experience, it is pretty average. There, you know, some games it'll be contested, some games I'm the only one going here, or me and my team are the only ones going here. So it's pretty good. My favorite spot to drop is if you go directly here on, like, the left side, kind of, there is normally an Avengers chest. There's also an Avengers chest over in see, this building here. So, you know, I'll show you guys a couple of the good spots. We're going to start with my favorite spot right here, though. So, you know, like I said, you're just going to drop down here to the side. Normally, you can just mantle right up here. Grab this Avengers chest. Um, you know, while you're running around and everything, you could be farming up. There's a lot of metal, so you can get max metal pretty easily. Same with wood. There's a lot of wood floors, wood everything, really. If you are the only one here, I recommend don't use any of your shield just because you can be holding that stuff, and then you can go out here and hit all of these cactuses. So you don't really need to worry a whole lot about using your shield super quickly. There's these, and then if you keep going around the side, there's going to be two more on that side. But, you know, right here, there's 60 off the rip. And then you can go in here. If you don't want to go over there or you are contested, you can run right back in here. There's going to be a couple shield barrels. So you can see right here, shield barrels right here. There's also going to be all of the fruit and things. So if you want to just get fruit to finish healing up, you can do that as well. So, you know, we got that right there. But keep going up. I normally go up here jump up one layer you know presents are in the game right now by the way if you guys didn't know that so you could get one of those they're gonna have the medallion thing inside of it so if you want the medallion that gives you balloons that's pretty cool as well but otherwise you're just gonna run right in here normally when you come in this room right here there's gonna be another avengers chest you know it's like 50 50 spawn with those so it's not guaranteed otherwise a bunch of chests you can loot this top layer normally i see like layer by layer otherwise you can kind of drop down chest right here by the way but normally there's another avengers chest sitting right here it'll be right here if there is if you want to take the stairs of course you can otherwise once you've looted up the inside i would say just walk right out here if you walk out here there should be another avengers chest sitting right here yep if you grab this one you know you already already i mean you can see my loot right here should have pretty good loot off the rip and then you've got you know more stuff to farm lots of metal options come right out here there are more cactuses more rocks stuff like that so if you're uncon normally i loot that complete side of the map get all of these cactuses and then i'll come out here and farm these rocks so there's one here i'm not going to do it all the way of course one here one here and then here those are normally the ones that i farm and then i'll just go depending on where the zone is all that stuff i'll normally go in this side and keep looting so you can grab all these chests if they're in here keep running through normally go up right here just because chests are going to be on the top there's not many on the bottom so you can grab those keep running through there's vending machine more chests and things i recommend if you come in this building here you can just jump across if you are con and don't want them to see where you're at you can just walk through here instead of having to build across that otherwise you know we'll just keep running through right here there's like four or five cars four or five individual ones and then like stacks of them you can get tons of metal real quick. Gonna keep running in here. Here's another Avengers chest. So at this point, you should definitely ha have tons of materials, tons of good loot. Definitely should have max shield. It's kind of hard not to, especially in pubs, just because the cactuses respawn. More cactuses here. There is a... Well, I'm gonna go in this way just so it doesn't break. There is a safe right in here. So if you come in here, a lot of people think you have to hold that down. You can just break this floor and it'll actually break. So it'll come right down. Otherwise, you know, more loot. And that's kind of it for Nitro. Depending on which way zone goes, you know, if it goes this direction up here, you have the pad. There, this spot is normally pretty contested just because it's kind of center of the map. It's so open. It's hard not to fight in that area. So just try and hit that pad as fast as you can. There's going to be a bunker up this direction right around here. And then there's also a bunker up this direction on the hill right here. And then another one right over here so you can check that if zone kind of pulls this direction 
you can I can show it to you guys you can kind of just build up here and you can just check if you have a gun with a scope on it you should be able to see it pretty easily yeah so right there you can see if stuff spawns around it that means bunker is gonna spawn so you can see the stuff spawning around it that means you are good you can go get the bunker just box up on that otherwise we'll jump into the second spot all right guys so the second drop that we've got today is gonna be rebels roost this is one of my personal favorite drops again just because if you guys are contested or if you're not doesn't really matter either way if you're able to kill the teams right off spawn or if you have a, just an easy chill game it is very good just because there's so much loot so much match so much you know ability to have a good early game it is basically guaranteed max shield here just because the amount of chests that you get so kind of the way that i like to drop personally is if you're able to get low enough which with the trees it's kind of hard just because when your glider pulls out it's based on what's below you so if you're like above a mountain or above the trees it's kind of hard to get a pretty low drop but my personal favorite spot to drop if you land right here and just jump straight inside the window that is going to give you kind of the best chances just because getting avengers test right off the spawn so 50 percent chance of getting that avengers test if you're unconned you know you can loot as much as you want otherwise you can break up there's chests above sometimes otherwise come straight to this other avengers chest then we'll go in this room right here and then you have these so these are going to give you guaranteed blue or up weapon so you know you're basically guaranteed to have a decent loadout right off spawn and i mean you can see already like i have a pretty good loadout and even now you know obviously there's nobody right now just because this is a custom game but you have so much time just to get mats and stuff the only thing you kind of have to watch out for playing here is where zone is so you just got to make sure i mean right here you know it's only first zone and i'm not inside of zone so you just got to be careful there more avengers chests here so you just gonna go layer by layer if you're unconned you can just go right here it's gonna be more chests some under there sometimes some upstairs otherwise break down a layer and you're gonna get more avengers chests so we got another one here sometimes if you go this direction you'll get one down here otherwise there's sometimes one right above as well so it kind of just depends uh, which you know route you take to actually get your loot more chests right here and you can see this is a ton of mats just right here even just off breaking these breaking the floor you know you can't break all the walls here especially in the lower area but just being super careful of what you're you know breaking make sure you're always getting mats in these types of situations just because when you rotate out there's always a chance that somebody's going to be fighting otherwise you can hop in a porta potty if you want this one takes you right down here to kind of the edge of the map there's going to be a vending machine a couple more chests if you want to use this spot for like finals of a solo cash cup something like that you can just because you're able to fish here otherwise just grab the chest normally i'll just go straight back up i honestly a lot of the time don't even come down here kind of just depends on personal preference there is a zip line if you just want to do that otherwise we'll go back break straight back up So once you've got a decent amount of loot you can come out here obviously there are a couple areas where you can farm the fence so if you want to get some metal up really quick you can there's a bunch of bushes bunch of trees make sure you are 100 percent getting all of your mats as high as you can as fast as you can it's going to be more chests rotating this way and then another good spot to stop at is right here there's going to be three more three four five kind of just depends how many chests but you can stop here get some more loot if you don't have good stuff which normally you do have pretty good stuff but if you don't you can always stop there more ammo all this stuff otherwise kind of my favorite ways to rotate here are you can either go into doomstat most of the time especially in situations like this where it was kind of edge map you have to rotate out quick the medallion is still going to be there so if you want to go grab medallion you can otherwise you can kind of go towards raft get kills through grim gate stuff like that doomstat is another good option just because normally castle doom is rotating this direction so kind of just depends again on personal preference Normally, that's what I do, though. Go straight over here. Because even if they did get Medallion and they left, you can just loot up. Just because there's going to be more Avengers chests, more Doom chests, all that stuff. Which are going to give you much better loot. But otherwise, we will get into our third and final drop. Alright, guys. So, the third drop that we got is this metal spot down here at the bottom right corner of the map. This is honestly my favorite spot. Especially for, you know, solo stuff like that. Just because you can get guaranteed mats. It is normally pretty chill just because you're on edge of map so it is sometimes a little bit hard just rotating out of this spot but you do have the pad right up here i'll show you guys just kind of a couple ways of landing here my personal favorite is if you go to the top of the mountain right here so once you kind of start getting a little bit closer you can see sometimes dooms like people will be here you can land on that you can get the doom chest otherwise you're just gonna want to land right up here at the top just because there's normally like one chest down there that's normally not enough 
can land up here if there are people rotating down and you got this chest you can be lasering them out of the sky otherwise just be looking down there see if anybody landed you can shoot at them grab these chests if you want to go ahead and hit these you know the barrels you can and then you are just going to want to jump down and once you've actually jumped down you can kind of look and see you know where people have landed this spot is normally contested but because there are so many like floor spawns and chests it's kind of hard to die off spawn you kind of have to it's hard not to find a gun off spawn so you're going to at least stand a chance you know but otherwise, this spot is a pretty good spot to land if you can't land on the mountain. Just land right here. There's going to be chests. There's normally a vending machine that I'll show you guys as well. So we've got these chests and everything. We're going to jump up here. Normally a vending machine here. Most of the time I notice it's like a shotgun vending machine, something like that. Otherwise, once you've looted this area, if you are on con, you can go in here. Or if this spot hasn't been looted yet. If you are on con, try not to use any shield just because there is max barrels here. So you can go in here, multiple chests. Otherwise, you're just going to break these. Break all the floors and everything, and it'll give you the most. You'll get a bunch of chests. Obviously, a bunch of loot and everything. Lots of metal, so make sure you're farming as you're walking around here as well. Otherwise, we're just going to keep going straight down the middle of it. So there's going to be chests in here on the left. Normally, one is sitting outside, and then there's going to be one above and one right here. Otherwise, we will keep going around. Got armored walls. Got see, one... Sometimes there's going to be a chest outside. So we got one here. Otherwise, we're just going to keep walking around. More chests, more barrels and stuff like that. Otherwise, out here, there's going to be, again, more barrels. Sometimes a chest sitting in here. We've got chests up top. Really just depends. You just kind of got to mess around, see where you like dropping all that stuff. Otherwise, whenever you're leaving, there are kind of two good ways to leave this spot. Number one, and what I do most of the time, is push just because i like fighting in ranked so much more you're gonna push towards olympus push towards these spots just because bunker does spawn right here so normally there's gonna be people you know fighting at mount olympus you can go third party that or you can just go like straight for bunker if it spawns fight people this this side of map otherwise if you want to play a little more chill you can actually just take well one you could take that zip line and you can go down here there's gonna be more chests down there there's cert barrels stuff like that i like going to this top one more a little though just because you can jump off right here. You can be farming as you go. So that's what I like doing just because mats are more important to me than like insane loot. So if you go up here, you're going to get more wood and brick just because there is mainly metal there. So you're not going to get a whole lot of wood or brick. If you just follow this path, you're going to get a lot more of that. It's going to be a couple chests up here. Otherwise, you're just going to kind of rotate around the side. Keep going up this mountain and there's kind of you can go left if you want to go towards Olympus, if you feel confident or you can keep going this way if you want to play more chill. It's going to be another spot to get a couple more guns, stuff like that. Otherwise, if we keep going up this mountain up here, there is going to be a launch pad. So at that point, normally once you've looted, actually looted and not just walked around like I have, you'll kind of have the option to see where zone goes. So if you wait just a little bit longer, you're going to see where zone goes. If it goes that way, there's a good chance that you can just launch onto that pad if you want to play it safe. Or if you want to keep, you know, going towards center zone and fighting, you can do that as well. So you can just go this way. If you got fizz, of course, use that. Otherwise, you can see, you know, you're going to shoot up people there, maybe people on bunker. Otherwise, you can go straight up here and then you can kind of go really wherever you want. And there's, you know, obviously a couple other spots you can be looting. There is a lot of loot up here by the top of the mountain. So if you want to keep looting, you definitely can. Obviously, much more brick, stuff like that. But otherwise, I would just keep going towards zone and keep fighting. All right, guys. And I did just kind of want to throw in an honorable mention. That is going to be right down here, bottom left side of the map. There is a little tiny mansion that you'll see in just a sec. Obviously, it's grayed out for some reason, but you'll see. Doesn't really fit into the top three, in my opinion, just because it's not like a main POI. You're not going to get like the greatest stuff out of it, but it's a really good spot for solo tournaments, stuff like that, especially if you can get pretty used to it, just because there are some really good spots to get extra kills, stuff like that. So the way that I land here when I do is most of the time, if I'm able to, I'm going to land at the top of this mountain just because there are going to be chests. There's a launch pad and you're kind of able to scope, scope out the rest of the map. So if we can just land right down here. Normally, you know, there are obviously chests right here, but if you're able to land right up here, just because you land here, you kind of have the high ground and you're able to block off the launch pad. So if you get a shotgun, obviously great. Okay, well, of course I didn't get AR or anything like that. But if there are people, you know, obviously diving down towards maybe that place, down there, towards the house, really anywhere in this area, you can be lasering them. You can 
if you do hit them and you want to jump on their heads, you could just hit the pad. Otherwise, just keep an eye out. You know, obviously more chests down here. You can grab those before you go down. But I just like grabbing these and then just heading straight down, especially if there's nobody down there. Kind of a small spot to land. So you just kind of want to loot it as quick as you can, just because it is pretty open in this area. So the faster you loot, the better. You can be farming this as well. There's a lot of wood and bricks. So just be careful. People pushing you from the side, stuff like that, just because people can sneak around this area pretty easily. Otherwise, you go down here to the basement. This is where most of the loot is going to be, honestly, just because you have these things. So it's going to give you blue and up loot. So, you know, basically guaranteed blue loadout right there. Sometimes better. Otherwise, we got more chests and stuff over here. Like I said, it is a pretty small spot. That's why I didn't really get top three, but it does give you some pretty decent loot. From here, you can kind of leave. If you want to push, there's a couple good spots. Um, if it's finals of a tournament, something like that, you can go down here and fish. There is normally people that land down there. Same with kind of this back area. If you want to push a lot of people, you can go towards Sandy. Otherwise, Raft is another really good spot, especially when you loot that spot quick, just because nobody is normally going to be fighting down there yet. They're Well, they're going to be fighting. They're not really going to be killing the boss yet, though. Otherwise, you can head up here to Satellite Tower. This is a really good spot, especially for tournaments in rain. So this is going to spawn at the once first zone closes. So if you haven't looted over here, you can. Otherwise, just wait here and you can grab that and then kind of rotate really wherever you want, especially in tournaments. If you get that early game, it is going to set you up for the rest of the game. So it's a really good spot. Just be careful in this area just because people can push from so many different sides and the raft person is right there. So you just kind of want to be careful of that if you're trying to play it safe. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, if you guys do want to support me just a little bit more than everybody else, go to my YouTube channel and I just started doing memberships. So if you just hit this join button, it'll actually show you my like monthly memberships. You guys get early access to videos and you get some other perks as well. So just check that out. Helps me out a ton. Otherwise, make sure you're using code spades in the item shop. That helps me out the most. And yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day.